This is a 17 HMR CZ457. It looks amazing. I got an Arkin 6 to 24 scope on there. I got a 17 HMR because I wanted something that could reach out further distances. Compared to 22, it has more power, it shoots flatter, it's more accurate, and I can take bigger animals. If a coyote jumps out at me at within 150 yards, I'll be comfortable shooting it. I've already taken it on a couple hunts. I got the videos done already. I haven't posted them yet, but it has become my new favorite gun. I like it a lot, and it's my most accurate gun now, too. So we're going to be doing a review on this real quick. Um, I had a lot of problems with this gun when I first got it mainly because it was my fault yeah I'll talk about it a little bit so right when I got this gun it was shooting really good half inch groups at 100 yards was the best I could do and I was trying out a bunch of different ammo this is what I'm using right now I only use the 20 grain XDPs or the CCI game points out of this gun now I'll explain why later so I was having a lot of problems with accuracy because I kept switching out the ammo and trying different ammo so what I found out is 17 HMRs at least mine shoots basically all the ammo the same I was trying different ammo out and it wouldn't group consistently like when I first shot it with the first kind of ammo. So I kept switching ammo, trying to find the best one. I tried like every kind of ammo out there, 17 HMR ammo, and I could not get the groups I was getting when I first got this rifle, half inch groups at 100 yards. It was going everywhere. So I did some research on this gun, trying to figure out accuracy problems with CZ rifles. And it turns out these action screws right here, right, that go into the stock, they have to be at a certain tightness. If you end up buying a CZ rifle, you need a torque wrench. Do not get that yellow one on Amazon that's like 50 bucks. I'll put a link in the description to the one I have. You have to be really precise um, with these to be able to get accurate, the best results with accuracy. So I ended up getting the torque wrench and I was doing some more experimenting and it helped my accuracy a little bit, but still wasn't as good as I was wanting. So I already knew this about ammo with uh, air guns at least but so before you switch out ammo in a gun and try different ammo you want to put a few rounds through it to get the barrel used to this brain of ammo if that makes any sense it still wouldn't work good so i decided i'm only going to stick with one box of ammo so i stuck with these i kept shooting through with these with this ammo and it took like almost a full box till the groups just went shrunk all the way down to that at like 70 yards. If you get a 17 HMR, try sticking with one ammo if you're having accuracy problems. Get a torque wrench and make sure, I think these are, I think I tighten this at a 20, seven or 28 inch pounds and that seems to work the best. So we're gonna do a quick shooting review with this. I got my target set out at 70 yards, just a cardboard box. I sighted it in at 70 yards because 50 yards just seems too close to sight in a 17. 100 yards seemed a little too far to get a precise zero with the 17 HMR. So I just won with 70 yards. I can hold the crosshairs steady enough on the black dot I shoot over there to where I can get a good group with it. So I'll put the scope cam on and we'll take five shot group with it and see how we do at 70 yards. Bullseye. Wind's picking up. All right, let's go check it out. And the only downside to 17 HMR really is that the wind does affect it quite a bit because it's such a light bullet. So 70 yards, we had three land right there. Two went up a little bit. That was, I'm pretty sure that was the wind because the wind shifted on me, but normally I can get all five within that th those three shots right there, quarter inch group. Here's some more groups from a couple weeks ago. It was pretty windy out this when I shot this, but that's 10 shots right there at 70 yards. Got two flyers right there. Those are probably about half an inch right there, eight shots right there. On this side of the box, I took five more shots. We had one flyer right there. 17 HMRs do have some flyers and then four shots right there so here it is kind of a close-up of the gun if you guys really want to see it but it has a nice walnut stock I, the checkering's amazing on it the wood looks really good it comes with a five round magazine oh yeah the trigger is adjustable too it came the trigger came pretty bad on it so i had to adjust it it's probably about a pound trigger right now maybe a tiny bit less actually this trigger 
is better than my CZ455 American and 22 long rifle that I have. And the accuracy overall on this gun is better too. Everything, I just like this gun better. The safety is different compared to the CZ455. The bolt's better on this gun too. It doesn't come up as high. It's a free floating barrel. I heard they put some kind of coating on this metal too to help prevent rust. I don't, it's not like a normal blued barrel. It's really nice though. I like the color of it better than a blued barrel. So yeah, not too long of a video, but I thought I'd do a review on it because I had a lot of problems with it. And then, you know, I got it shooting good again. If any of you guys have questions about it or if you have this gun and having accuracy problems, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer your questions. And if you want to see hunting videos with this gun, make sure to subscribe. I want to do coyote hunting with it soon. So bye.